Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am just coming to you with a new hair tutorial because as you can see, I chopped my hair off. Um, if you don't follow me on my blog or watch my previous videos, um, you can just go back and look at the one before this because my hair was significantly longer than it is now. Um, but Stephen and I did just get married, um, actually it was a month ago today, um, and I knew that after the wedding I wanted to go shorter because I typically do have more of like a shoulder length cut um but this cut ended up being a little bit shorter and a little bit more drastic than i was hoping for um but that's okay i'm definitely i'm getting used to it um i was hoping that it was probably about like an inch longer than this and that is sort of like the picture that i showed my stylist but that's all right she ended up going a little bit shorter but that just means that that is um i won't have to go back as soon to get it trimmed so i have Probably in like a month, I'm thinking I'm really going to love it because it'll be definitely the length that I was going for. And I do like the cut. Um, <laughs> sort of like a little horror story, I guess. Not horror story, that sounds really dramatic. But when she did cut it, um, she gave me a very like angular bob, which I did want it to be a little bit angular, but it was super drastic like short very short and back and then well not very short but like as short as it is now and back and then way longer in the front and it was really just like two or three pieces that were super long like way longer than the rest of my hair and it looked so weird and I just like could not <laughs> could not get into it I really didn't like it um so I actually sort of actually chopped a little bit of my hair off um so I just cut there were like these pieces right here and they were so much longer than the rest of my hair and it was really strange and I don't know why she did that but um, I just trimmed them so that they were like basically the same length as the rest of the hair that's like on the side of my head pretty much so it made it so that it's not so drastically short and back and long in front it definitely is still like an angular bob you can see that the back of my head is a little bit shorter um, back of my hair is a little bit shorter not my head um but yeah so now I feel like it's a little bit closer to being even around it's not so drastic and it's definitely more what I was going for so just a tip if you do end up getting a haircut it ends up being a little bit too angular you could always just try to trim it yourself I honestly was thinking about making an appointment and going back in and having her fix it but I was a little nervous about how short she would make it if she fixed it so I just did it myself um <laughs> but maybe don't try that at home I don't know uh so yeah this is just sort of how I style my hair it's really really similar to how I styled it before it's just a lot shorter so I just thought it would be fun even though I did do a previous video on how I style my hair um I thought it would be fun to show you now that it is significantly shorter um because there are a few little things that I changed up here and there so I hope you guys enjoyed this video especially if you're considering getting um, a shorter haircut or if you already have sort of like a bob style haircut so stay tuned if you want to see how I get this look <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on curling my hair ignore this one like half curled piece I didn't let my curling iron um, get hot enough before I started so this is kind of like take two um, but yeah so first I just blow dried my hair I kind of let my hair air dry for like 15 minutes and then it's almost completely dry at that point and it just really naturally dries pretty straight but I just like to go in with a blow dryer to give it more volume and I don't even use like a round brush or anything with this cut it just like automatically does that sort of like curled under I don't know I think it's just because my hair is so short right now and like I said my hair is very naturally straight so because it's so short it pretty much just dries straight so um yeah so let's just jump right in and start curling we're gonna try this first piece again because <laughs> it didn't come out exactly like I wanted it to I think it just had not been um, heating up long enough so yeah so pretty much I just really don't even do it in layers I just curl from front to back. Um, my back pieces are really short right now, so they are a little bit harder to curl, um, but I just kind of do my best. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to start off on my left side, um, and I just wrap it around the barrel. I try to do three times. Um, with my front pieces, it's a lot easier to do three since it's like an angular 
is that what it's called? Angular bob. It is easier to curl the front because it's a lot longer. Um, well, not a lot longer, but it's longer. And then with the back pieces, that's obviously the shortest part. So yeah, the back pieces are a little bit harder to curl. But yeah, so I'm just trying to wrap it around three times. And I'm doing it all away from my face. I'm taking pieces like about this size. Not too tiny, because I don't want, I feel like if I did really tiny pieces all the way around, my hair would be like out to the walls, like super big. <laughs> And you'll see my hair does get pretty big just by doing this style anyway. But yeah, just no rhyme or reason, just grabbing pieces and curling them, like I said, just aiming for three times around the barrel. definitely want to make sure that I grab the like underneath layers because you can see since they are a little bit longer it looks weird if they're just like dangling there straight so I just sort of toss back the top layers and grab the bottom. It probably would be easier if I pulled my hair back but just don't really feel like it. And yeah these bottom pieces I can pretty much only get around twice, like one and a half times really, I, I guess just since I'm pulling from the bottom up, makes it a little bit harder, but yeah, just making sure I don't leave those out. It is like super hard styling your hair in a really tiny mirror like this. <laughs> I'm so used to looking at my big mirror as my vanity. Like I kind of mentioned, like when she cut my hair, she made it just a little too angular for my taste. So I've been trying to like really curl those long bottom pieces up so it doesn't look so like short in back, long in front. That's just like not really what I was going for. And I did sort of fix that when I trimmed those front pieces, but I didn't to go too crazy so I didn't cut them all off um, so I was a little too nervous to do that now I'm gonna move on to this side and then we'll do the back last so yeah just grabbing these front pieces and trying to get it around three times it's really easy to style this haircut, but and it's really no different than um, my previous routine. It's just less hair <laughs> or less length, I guess, not less hair because my hair is still very thick. So it is so hard because I have the like curling iron plugged in over there and it is a stretch. I'm still trying to figure out like, what the best spot is to film. Now that I got lights, I'm trying to figure out a better setup because it's a small little, our office is very small so setting up lights and a camera. Okay, so I actually ended up just doing the back off camera, but I just do it the same way um, as I do the sides, just trying to wrap it around three times. So, um, yeah, so next I just go in with my Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. Oof. Try not to spray myself in the face with it. And this is the same product I used 
for my long hair too. It just gives your hair such a nice texture, especially when you were trying to do these really good beachy waves. And then I go in with, and I sort of like, as I'm going through, just kind of like scruff it with my fingers. And then I go in with the Surf Infusion um, from Bumble and Bumble as well. And this one I like for the ends. I just feel like it's, it makes it so that your ends, like this texturizing spray gives your hair a lot of like grit, which I like closer to like the roots of my hair, but at the ends, I don't like them to be like too gritty. So this is just like an oil um, and it's really nice because it makes your hair kind of like scrunchy and cute. Honestly, it's not necessary to have both of these, but I like them. And I feel like it makes a difference to have both. So yeah, as I spray that one, I just kind of go in and scrunch. And then just sort of fluff it out until I like it. I don't go in with a brush because since my hair is so short, if I were to go in with a brush, the curls would definitely fall. Um, my curls do not hold as well at this length. So just play with that a little bit. You can see the hair is pretty big, so that's okay. That's what I like. And then I'm just going to go in and spray it with the Sheriff from Dry Bar. I actually just got another um, spray from Dry Bar, the Money Maker. So I'll let you guys know which one I end up liking better. This one had better reviews on Sephora. This one actually had really bad reviews on Sephora, but I like it. So um, I would recommend it, and it smells really good. just how I style it. It will fall a little bit throughout the day um, and get a little bit more like wavy instead of like curly I guess but you can see it's already kind of fallen just while I've been sitting here so yeah I hope you guys liked this video um, and you know I hope it inspires you if you do get a new haircut um, especially like a bob style haircut I think that this is a really cute way to style it and you know give it a little body um, and it is nice because, you know, every other day I pretty much just have to touch it up, like if I don't wash my hair. Um, usually day two, I might have to do a little bit of a touch up because when I sleep on it, it does get a little wonky, like not like with my longer hair, I could sleep on it and the next day it would look even cuter, but with this it does tend to um, get a little weird when you sleep on it, so you probably will have to do a little bit of a touch up in the morning, but nothing too crazy it takes like five ten minutes just to throw a couple like curls just to give it more volume again um, but yeah it's a really easy hairstyle um, I'm still definitely getting used to it yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one